watching Fox 25 Morning News. We are back here on the Fox 25 Morning News, and after the September 11th attacks, we found many flaws in how we report and respond to large-scale emergencies. Cell phone systems failed, intelligence reports had either not been filed or ignored in the days leading up to the attack. Here to talk about some of the ways these problems are being fixed is MIT professor John Donovan, commissioned, by the way, by President Bush to come up with a system to link all the agencies and prevent miscommunication against the event or in the event of a catastrophe. And John, good morning. We appreciate you coming in this morning. Good morning. How is everything? You doing well? It's, I'm doing well. Excellent. Uh, I want to talk first of all, before we start talking about what you've been working on, is to start talking about what happened on September 11th and examples of how the communication really played a part in, in what was uh, obviously an unbelievably chaotic atmosphere. Well, it's unfortunate. As you know, and as we've discovered, much of the information that was needed to prevent September 11th was available. These people took flight training classes and would have registered. They were an INS watch list, their customs problems, and they used their own names when they boarded the plane. So a little bit of, as Ben Franklin said, an ounce of prevention could have meant a lot on the cure. The lessons learned from September 11th, what, what have you taken from those and how have you put all of that stuff that went wrong and put them into a plan to make everything go right and turn around so that the communication is improved? Well, uh, three things. First of all, First of all, it's an honor to be with you. Oh, well, thank you way. very it's, much. Uh, I've watched his sports for all those years, and it's nice to talk to somebody that's not an MIT student that says good, <laughs> good morning what back. Gave it, what gave that away? <laughs> <laughs> well, it turns out when I say good morning to an MIT student, they write it down. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, certainly can't be accused of that. Uh, what, three things. First, homeland, to keep the homeland secure, you've got to keep the hometown secure. So we want to get this down to the town level. What we built for the military to protect military bases, what General Myers wanted, we've done that. Now we're taking that and applying it to the hometown. The second thing is we're focusing on the prevention aspect, not the responding aspect. We want to try and prevent an accident and then go from there. And secondly is, lastly, what we're trying to do is to gather up data from much, many sources that are available today. We're not going to infringe on people's liberties. What we're trying to do is protect liberties, not hurt liberties and that's the balance to protect them you can't take them away so we're going to be getting police reports fire reports arson reports and look for patents and if the patent is unusual we will alert the appropriate you take all this information in you put it in one central system so the cia the fbi state police other agencies can all access this information from one spot okay, that's dangerous i'm not going to put it in one central system no no mm -hmm. no no because that would be infringing on our privacy I'm going to leave it out in the local Jacksonville police station in that. But we're going to have a connector here so that anything they publish, you can go in and do the analysis. So in between, we have intelligence that gets a little piece of data here, it gets a little piece of data there. So for example, a sniper attack that's mm -hmm. on everybody's news. There are 14 queries of the sniper by police officers around the country. That data was in their systems, but no, if you wish, central analysis. Mm -hmm of checking that and saying, whoops, there's a problem. We want to do that. Last week, there was a situation in Jacksonville where there was an influenza attack. Each hospital was having an increase in influenza, but they all didn't know it, so they ran out of respiratories. Mm -hmm. And you, speaking of Jacksonville, you've tested this system, and some of those results you're going to be talking about today. Yeah, what, what's happened in Jacksonville, we went down and we started with Jacksonville. They have, here in Boston, in Cambridge, uh, what we've done is have the chief of police and the chief of fire, and they are now going in depth on building the system, and, and then they're going to go back to Jacksonville and release it, and we're going to war game it down in Jacksonville. And then you take the results from that, tweak it a little bit more, and then... And we're talking to the, next week the Romney administration about bringing it here to Massachusetts. Arnold Schwarzenegger is, wants to have this sort of thing very much in California. Well, Professor Donovan, it's important work. We appreciate coming in and uh, sharing the information with us this morning. Thank Great you Great having very you on much. the Fox 25 Morning News. Thanks nice for coming in. Here.